If you want to design a game super quickly, easily, and make it look totally cool, you're at the right place. I need a super quick game design, so the drawings will be super simple. I'll use three tools for the form of the drawings. Rectangle tool, rounded rectangle tool, and ellipse tool. At the very beginning, I need a story, something that will awaken my inspiration. And my story begins with the main character, Toddler, a small alien who begins to explore other worlds. Now, I'll draw the eyes. The eye will be white. I'll copy it, reduce, and paint the pupil black. The eye is finished. Copy it. Our toddler has just received his sight. After the eyes, drawing of the mouth follows. It will be a black circle. I want our space boy to have a slight smile. So, I will tear off the upper part of the circle at an oblique angle. I will draw a square, make it rotate, select both objects and use minus front in the Pathfinder tool. Next in line are the legs. They will be very simple. I'll paint this leg in the color of the skin. Copy it, Control C, Control F. I'm going to paint it in a slightly darker zip up red and place other elements in front of it. In this way, the depth of space is emphasized with one leg in the background. The hands will be drawn in a similar manner. I'll draw one hand and rotate it to an angle of 45 degrees. I'll copy it and use the same method with darker colors. The body is finished. Our little alien is visiting and exploring different planets. Each of them has a different chemical composition so our main character can't use the air on those planets. Therefore, he needs some sort of glass bubble that will provide him air. I will create it using a circle. It will be white for now. I'm going to increase it a bit. and nip it to the point where it intersects with the edge of the body. The form is over. Now I'll make it airy and transparent. I will use Gradient. Type. I'll switch from Linear to Radial. Now we have a circular gradient. The center will be lowered by using the Gradient tool. Our transition of colors is from white to black. I want it to be from white to white. The white color in the middle of the gradient will be transparent. Opacity will be 0%. The transparency of the outer white will be 80%. I'm going to fix the position of the colors. And that's it. Our alien toddler is ready for an adventure. In one of the next videos, I'll talk about a fast and effective character animation for games. You will be able to easily animate your heroes in games without much prior knowledge. It'll be coming soon, so subscribe to the channel to keep up. For now, our aliens will stand back and wait for his first landing. I begin with the creation of the map he will explore. The ground of this planet will be grass. 
For it, I will need the rounded rectangle tool. It will be green. I will copy this object. You may have noticed that my objects are attracted, as if they were magnetized, and give you a fairly good accuracy in sorting objects. That option is called Smart Guides, and you can find it in View. I will rise a little the copied object. Once again, I will copy it and bring it down. Select the top and bottom building and use the Minus Front tool. Now I have a semicircle that goes outside and one inside. That is what we need to make a loop out of it. I will copy this object two more times. This I'll rise a little. This too. The next one I will lower. This rise. This too. Now I'm going to merge them into a single object using Unite in Pathfinder. Over this, I will draw another object. I will select everything and separate each part with the option Divide. Ungroup all and delete all parts that I don't need. Now we have our grass. I will copy the top part and paint it in a dark color. This will be the land under grass. Loop for the base is done. I'm going to minimize it a little bit, then copy. Now I'm going to copy both loops in order to be faster. Repeat the process and do it again. Now I need the airspace above the base. Like this and paint it yellow. I begin filling it out. For the beginning, it can be abstract mountains or something like buildings in the background. However, it should be very simple so it will not compete with our character and everything that is in the foreground. I will use the rounded rectangle tool and play with different dimensions. However you lay up these forms, the effect will be cool. I will select these objects. I will eliminate the excess below this line using the option Divide. Ungroup, and now I can find everything I need. The rest will be grouped. The background is clean and beautiful, but a few clouds will brighten it up even more. As you can see, I use very simple geometric forms. Therefore, everything is quick and effective. There are not many effects, so your items will be easy, which will significantly speed up your game in the programming process. The cloud is finished, and it will be white. In transparency, I will set this transparency to 70%. I will copy and reduce it. Once again, I will copy it, and we don't want our clouds looking too plain, so we'll rotate the clouds vertically. Our little alien is ready for his first landing. I'm going to shrink him a little bit. And there he is. Our toddler has just landed. The catch is that our alien is limited by the amount of air, so instead of points, he will buy little circles, which will constantly supply him with new air. This will be a small circle filled with air, and around it I will create a small balloon with a gradient that we have used by the alien. Now I will copy this bubble randomly on the map.
This planet would be perfect if there was no residents who do not like the presence of our toddler. He just jeopardized the territory of one of them, and it's quite angry. It will be his enemy. In order to draw it quickly, I will use the alien forms. I will erase the air balloon, eye, and mouth. It will be a one-eyed, angry citizen of the planet. With the direct selection tool, I will select only certain points on his body and drop them a little lower. He is very angry, and you can see it in his eye. So, I'm going to remove the upper part at an oblique angle. I will return the pupil in the foreground. Now, I'm going to change his color so he will not be mistaken as our little alien. To be even more dangerous, I will draw him horns. And I can draw him a mouth with teeth. This is his lip. This will be one tooth. And this is the second. It will be white. And I will delete the upper part, which I don't need, by using divide. I will group everything, reduce a bit, and the angry native is finished. As you can see, it's larger than our alien, so Toddler has a big challenge ahead of him. Now it remains to delete the background and make everything larger. That's it. All this takes about 15 minutes. Imagine what you can create in an hour or two. Various worlds, many different characters and elements in the game. Everything is very simple and fast. Now, subscribe, because there is so much more I want to share with you. Zip up for all creative people.